potentiometer reduction factor the aim of our experiment is to determine the reduction factor of a given tangent galvanometer so here the apparatus provided is potentiometer galvanometer the necessary voltage cells etc are there now coming to the principle of the potentiometer how we can use it to find the reduction factor of a tangent galvanometer as we know in the case of a potentiometer if l is the balancing length for the daniel cell which is having an efm value 1.08 which is connected in the secondary circuit then e is proportional to l or 1.08 is proportional to l we can write now when a current i is flowing through a standard resistance and if the voltage across this resistance ir is given to the potentiometer circuit then ir is proportional to l1 now from the two expressions 1 and 2 we can write ir expression 2 divided by expression 1 ir divided by e is equal to l1 by l where l is the balance length for daniel cell and l1 is the balance length for the potential difference ir or when the resistance r is included then from that we can write or we can obtain the current i in the circuit or potential bit is a secondary circuit i is equal to l1 by l into e by r or e l1 divided by r l e l1 divided by r l now if this current is passing through the tangent galvanometer and if the deflection produced is theta then we are having the formula i is equal to k tan theta for the tangent galvanometer i is equal to k tan theta now we can substitute for i from the equation 3 we can substitute for i from the equation 3 in the equation 4 then we obtained uh, k is equal to i by tan theta but i is substituted that is el1 by rl so k we obtained el1 divided by rl tan theta so this is the aim or this is the principle involved the reduction factor is obtained by the formula el1 divided by rl tan theta then again the reduction factor is connected to the bh value by an equation the reduction factor k is equal to 2 r bh by mu sur o n and therefore this experimental setup can also used to find the value of bh at a particular place from the expression 5 we are getting bh is equal to mu sur o n k by 2 r from the equation 5 we are getting bh is equal to mu sur o n k by 2 r where k the reduction factor that we we already obtained and n is the number of turns of the tg and r the radius the radius of the tangent galvanometer now this is the experimental setup we are having the potentiometer wire ab in the primary circuit we are connecting an accumulator e a rheostat k so, uh, a key k and the rheostat rh now in the secondary circuit we are having a ohms law circuit say resistance r is there as power supply is there a rheostat is there so we can send any current through r now the tangent galvanometer is connected with the help of a commutator that is to reverse the direction of current you can see uh, in the commutator when the opposite keys say the 1 and 3 are connected you can see that the current is flowing in this direction and it is reaching here now it is going like this so the current is going like this and the it reaches the point 3 and the circuit is completed then if you are closing the other two keys of the commutator that is say the 2 and 4 2 and 4 we can see that the direction of current is reversed the current reaching at the point 2 comes to this direction and it flows in this direction now the direction is changed so for that purpose we are using the commutator so after doing this connections we can include the resistance r we can include the resistance r similarly using the six way key we can include the daniel cell so initially the daniel cell is included by plugging the two keys say 1 and 2 these two keys 1 and 2 are included then the daniel cell is included in the secondary circuit the other circuit is not included now we are finding the balance in length and that balance length is l then these two keys are removed 
and it is included we are including the key 3 and 4 then the pd across r is included here this this is connected here this is connected here r is included then we obtain the balance length and that balance length is l1 now we can repeat the experiment by changing the rheostat position then the current through the circuit is changed then pd across r ir is changed then the balance length also will change now for each case we find the deflections that produced in the tangent galvanometer the compass box alone is rotated so that the 1990 line is in the vertical plane of the coil and again the whole apparatus is rotated so that the aluminum pointer reads zero zero so this is the arrangement for the tg coil initially the compass box is rotated it is the 1990 line is parallel to the vertical plane of the coil then the whole apparatus is rotated so that aluminum pointer reads zero zero then you can see that the tg lies along the magnetic meridian now as we mentioned uh, first we are finding the balance length for the daniel cell then the keys are changed then the resonance r is included and not the balance length l or uh, the balance length l1 and also the tg gives two readings the aluminum pointer gives two readings say theta 1 and theta 2 now using the commutator reverse the current through the circuit then the tg gives two more readings the third and fourth reading and we can get one more balance length and that balance length is taken the second one and we are taking the mean of these two balance length and the mean of the four uh, deflections in the tg now the experiment is repeated for different positions of the rheostat so that the tangent galvanometer reads nearly of the order of say 30 degree 35 degree 40 degree 45 degree 60 degree etc so the deflections in the galvanometer should be between 30 and 60 for that positions we place we arrange the rheostat and for each position we are finding the balance length and the deflections now for the coil the number of turns of the coil n is noted similarly the circumference of the coil is measured and from the circumference the radius of the coil can be calculated so this is the observation column we are repeating this given a number of times trial so the deflections in tg we mentioned we are getting four deflections for one position of the commutator reading one and two when the commutator is reversed the reading three and four and then mean is calculated for the first position of the commutator the balance length one is noted when reversing the commutator the balance length two is noted and the mean l1 is noted then k is determined using the formula e l1 divided by r l tan theta now we repeat the experiment for another position of rheostat the corresponding deflections are noted and the balance length is noted so we can repeat the experiment and we can find the mean value of k and from the other known values we determine the value of k from the c value we obtain the value of radius and then we can determine the bh value also that is mu zero nk by 2r so the experimental setup to determine the reduction factor of a given tangent galvanometer we have the potentiometer apparatus here between A and B, a uniform wire having a length of 10 meter is arranged in 10 rows. So the primary circuit that is between A and B is connected to the positive of uh, an accumulator, negative to a key, then from key to a rheostat and the rheostat is connected to the terminal B and that is known as the primary circuit. Now in the secondary circuit we are having a power supply unit ESC. Now we are having a six way key. With the help of a six-way key, uh, we can include a Daniel cell. Here, this is a Daniel cell is having a voltage of 1.08 volt is included using these two wires to this point. Then a standard resistance of resistance 1 ohm is connected here. Now it is connected to a rheostat so that we can change the current in the secondary circuit. Also, with the help of a commutator, uh, the TG, the given TG is connected in the uh, circuit. Now initially, uh, the Daniel cell is included, Daniel cell is having a voltage of 1.08, we 
the Daniel cell is included and we can get the balancing length for the Daniel cell. So to check the balancing length, is the contact somewhere near the NDA that is reflecting to the right side. When it is giving a contact to the uh, NB, it is reflecting to the left side. Then by adjusting the rheostat, keeping it in a particular position, uh, we can find the balance length for the Daniel cell so that it gives uh, a reflection of several reflections uh, between 900 to 1000 as the balance length for the Daniel cell. Then only we can repeat the experiment a number of times. So here I go. Uh, a depression value 0 uh, for a particular length of 936. So that is the uh, balance length for the Daniel cell. Now the secondary circuit is included, the resistance R is included. Now a particular current is going through R. The compass box alone can be rotated and place the 1990 line. You can see the 1999, 190 is here and the other 90 is here. This 1999 is just below the plane of the coil. The 1999 is just below the plane of the coil. Then the wall apparatus can be rotated. The wall apparatus can be rotated like this so that the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0. Now when we are doing this arrangement, what happens that? the TG comes along the direction of in our lab that is the north direction and here we are having the south direction the TG coil comes along the uh, north south direction now the commentator is given contact okay. now that we can observe a certain diffraction in the TG now we can observe a certain diffraction of TG now for a particular position of the rheostat we are observing the diffractions now I can get two deflections. The two deflections are one end is 34 and the other end is also 34. So the two deflections I noted 34 and 34. Now for this particular question, we, have, we want to find the balance in length again. Now for that, again the contact is given at LA. Now there is a right side deflection. At B there is a left side deflection. Then we can find out we are getting a zero reflection. So somewhere here we are getting a zero reflection. So here we are getting a zero reflection. Okay. So that's at the point of the distance of about 108 centimeter. I am getting a zero reflection. For other points, I am getting reflections on both sides. On opposite sides, I am getting reflections. Now that this particular point, the deflection is zero. So that is a balance length. Then we want to find out the corresponding balance length again for that again we are giving contact on the two sides for positive fractions now moving over the wire we can find out where the depression is zero again here at this particular point I am getting a zero depression so that distance is 107 centimeter so we completed one set we obtain four deflections. We can find the mean value of deflections 34, 34, 35, and 35 to balance length 108 and 107. Similarly, for other different positions, we are repeating the experiment. In each time, we are getting four deflections and two balancing lengths. With the help of that, in each case, we can determine uh, the reduction factor of the given tandem value. Now, with the help of a string, just measure the circumference of the circular coil, the circumference of the circular coil, C, uh, from that we can determine the value of radius. And we are using a standard resistance of 1 ohm. Then in the tableau column we can see. For the trial number 1, the deflections in the TG we obtain 34, 34. When it is reversed 32 and 32, the mean value of theta is determined. And the corresponding balance length R, for the initial position, the balance length is 107. When the commutator is changed, reversed, it is 110. And the mean value of length is 108.5. Then the K value is calculated using that values. 
using the formula 1.08 L1 divided by R L tan theta that is calculated as 0.1946. Now the experiment is repeated for the second time. Again we are finding the diffraction values and the corresponding balance length and K is determined. Now a number of times the experiment is repeated. That means for different values of diffractions under the Tg about 35 or 30, uh, 30, 35, 40, 50 up to 60. Now each case we can determine, uh, we can note the deflections and uh, the balance length and each time we are calculating, calculating the value of uh, k value and the mean value of k is determined or calculated as 0 0.2099.